So you just bought a Gigabyte motherboard, you installed Windows for the first time, you have all your RGB and you're wondering, why isn't it doing the rainbow shit that I asked it to? Excuse my French. But it's all stuck on teal. After I've dicked around with this for many of days, again, excuse my French, goes to find out that uh, after reinstalling Windows, uninstalling Windows, replacing motherboards, thinking it was an RGB controller, I didn't know this was a thing. I don't remember hearing anything about Microsoft re releasing this new tool called Dynamic Lighting. Dynamic Lighting basically controls your RGB to, I, 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 don't, I don't actually know enough about this, but in here, you have this device that shows up because uh, Control Center hands it off apparently or something. And in Microsoft, it allows you to, um, Choose whether or not you want dynamic lighting on or off. So, the answer uh, to this issue, if your lights are all stuck on this, you have your Gigabyte Control Center open, and let's say you're like, okay, I would just want to set my RGB to static, and nothing changes to red except for my RAM, or whatever else you have in there. Okay, let's go to Rainbow. Nothing happens except for the RAM. Well, the problem is, is because you are using the dynamic lighting, which is under personalization in your settings, dynamic lighting, and then this will show up, and then in here you'll have an option, use dynamic lighting on my device. Turn that off. And ta-da! Your RGB starts working. So thank you, Microsoft, for screwing me out of about, I don't know, a couple days of my life trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with this motherboard. Because uh, I originally thought it was a motherboard issue. So I click static, Everything goes static. So if Microsoft wants to be helpful, uh, tell them not to enable this kind of crap by default, especially when, you know, it's never existed before. And if they are going to enable it, they need to put some sort of notification. Hey, we're going to enable dynamic lighting. Do you want to do this? I don't know. That would be cool. So if you have a Gigabyte motherboard, or any motherboard for that matter, and your RGB is not working from your RGB software... Check out the dynamic lighting and see if it's enabled. I bet it is. This is Ben from Empower Gaming Computers signing off. Have a nice day.